So we actually see Mr. Kieran Toa's teacher, and he actually met her adopted father, and he asked him how she's doing. Well, he and his daughter actually picking up her mother as well, and they actually see the stars, which they say that it actually passed every 470 years. Which we headed over where we seen where we last left the heroes where they actually have Juby to look at Sesuna's arm, which is actually the blood blade where we actually see how they were connected to Sisu Maru. Where they actually are their da the, his daughters. But seeing how they were actually connected. When we last saw them. She was controlled while having her seal unleashed by Zero. So we actually knew how they are going to get payback for what she's done to her. Where we seen... Kirin Maru talking to Sisu Maru's mother and they actually talk about the wheel of time plus we actually seen how they made it over to the location where Toa actually meeting actually met Zero and Sesuna actually battling Riku where they actually having a epic battle where they actually fought even though they actually have their sacred jewels removed by Riku so we actually knew how Riku has collected the sacred jewels which Zero has took them for herself so now she actually gained more power however Sesuna using her blood blade to kill Zero. Now she's actually in the afterlife while we seen Jakin and Sesshomaru actually went to the Tree of Ages to look at their mother Rin. And she's actually has woken up, which his mother actually explained to Zero. That the reason that she's actually in the afterlife is because she's actually dying. Knowing that she actually is dying, which there are actually two links between Zero and Ren. In short, if Ren actually dies because Zero is actually dying. So that actually explains what actually happened. So... Sisumaru actually returns, which he actually used his Tensei gun to actually bring Zero back to life, which angers her, knowing that they actually see Kirin Maru actually returns as well. And we actually see how the final battle actually happening as well. So we actually knew how Kirin, Ra Kirin Maru actually returns to battle the heroes. Now the sacred jewels have been collected, which means that we're actually going to see what's actually going to happen at the end, and all the answers will be will be solved on the final episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more. And comment what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy joining here, joining here saying sign out. Laters and be safe.